Hey guys, this is Sam, and uh, I am the co-owner of Brain Dead Brewing, Sugar Fang Bakery, and Mike's Gemini Twin, and this is History in Motion. I came from the mud, there's dirt on my hands. So we still do things a very, a very small way. I, I wouldn't quite call this old-fashioned. Uh, just because the technology of brewing has become so ubiquitous and we're able to, uh, you know, it's, it's atmospheric stuff. We're using gas pressures to move everything around for the most part. Pretty old technology that we're brewing here. We're just trying to keep it nice and clean and tidy. And, uh, and Drew's great at that. He leads his team. They always say that, uh, that brewers clean more than they brew. Um, and that is certainly a truism. Yeah, at our heart, we are a brew pub. We're set up for a little bit of production. Being primarily directly engaged with, with our customers, most of our customers are people that have never been in a brewery before. This is their first time visiting one. Not only do we have an offering of classic styles and classic brewing techniques, but a little bit of boundary pushing and uh, experimental type brews as well. And with our huge variety on tap, I mean, I never thought I'd be running a brewery with over 30 of our own beers on, but uh, being almost an ambassador uh, type brew pub for new people getting into beer in our location and our history and everything, uh, it just all comes together uh, being able to offer that mix of uh, experimental and classic. Basically the idea of the whole place is to be slightly irreverent. Hopefully people think that that's funny. The, the name in itself is Brain Dead. You know what you're getting when you come in here. It's gonna be chill and it's probably gonna be fun. And we have a fun time giving people a fun time. So we opened in 2015 with all of our emphasis on beer and being a brewery. Doing what we were trying to do, we didn't wanna do anything half-ass. We want a whole-ass everything. So that went for our kitchen too. Um, we had some really important, knowledgeable people on the beer side representing who we were and we wanted to make sure that our food lineage represented that. We started with Chef David Pena, now we have Chef Taylor McCreary, and both of those guys have uh, done a really great job of expressing themselves in the kitchen and, and having our food keep up with our awesome beer, which has been a really important part of making Brain Dead Brain Dead. We opened in 2015 and immediately won Dallas Observer Best New Restaurant and uh, D Magazine Editor's Choice for Best Burger in Dallas. And if you've ever had a burger in Dallas, you know there's a million places out here that serve them. And uh, D Magazine's Editor's Choice is uh, about as good of an award you could ask for for a new brewery opening up and trying to serve some good food. And uh, we've tried our best to keep to those standards and make sure that we always have a rotating menu that's representative of the season, but is still uh, also approachable to all people, not just the foodies. We just started uh, with Benny Keith uh, Beer Distribution. Benny Keith uh, Distribution, they distribute both beer and alcohol um, around the state, and they are a big powerhouse of a beer distributor. We are uh, planning on taking what we've built here, which is uh, fairly successful in our, in our spot, and using all of this brewery that we've built and our partnership with Benny Keith to expand and grow and sell our beer throughout the state uh, and hopefully get that Brain Dead name out there a little bit more. You know, Brain Dead is, is everything that I ever wanted it to be. We opened Brain Dead because Jeff and I had a passion for something that we wanted to create. Neither of us are necessarily artists. We don't make music. We don't necessarily make things in the traditional sense. And Jeff and I found a way to express our art uh, with a place and with people and creating a home for uh, like-minded employees that wanted to be a part of what we were doing. And we found that. We found a bunch of great people that we've been able to allow their passions to become their career. So we created that for ourselves and we created that for other people as well. And uh, we're, we're really proud of that. And so many people spend so much of their life wishing that they could go and do that thing that they really cared about. But there's nothing holding you back besides you. If you have something in your heart, just get out there and make it. If you build it, they will come, as they say.